Typhoon Chungdari is approaching the Korean Peninsula and is affecting Jeju Island and southern regions with heavy rain and strong winds. The typhoon is expected to worsen the heat wave that's been already gripping the country. Lee Soo-jin with the latest. Concerns about the effects of Typhoon Chungdari, especially on Jeju Island, are growing as it moves north. The Korean Meteorological Administration on Tuesday issued a typhoon advisory for parts of Jeju's coastal waters and its inner southern sea areas and a warning for the outer southern sea areas around the island. The KMA defined the typhoon as having a maximum wind speed at the center of at least 17 meters per second. As of 3 p.m., the maximum wind speed of Typhoon Chungdari is 19 meters per second, which is about 42 miles per hour. All seven hiking trails on Hallasan Mountain have been restricted and all passenger ferries to and from coastal ports in Jeju after 4 p.m. were cancelled. The island has seen maximum gusts of between 20 and 30 meters per second from Tuesday afternoon and heavy rain accompanied by thunder and lightning is expected throughout the night. The KMA said on Tuesday that Typhoon Chungdari is expected to pass west of Seogipo on the south coast of Jeju Island at 6 p.m., which is also when the effects of the storm will start impacting the entire Korean peninsula. And once it reaches Mokpo around midnight, it will be downgraded to a tropical storm and will hit across the country towards Sokcho in Kamondo province. The typhoon has also raised concerns about the supply of electricity. Not only is the overall electricity demand expected to increase as typhoon brings in hot humid air from the tropical seas, but rain clouds are expected to reduce solar power efficiency. The Honam region in the southern part of Korea is one area that is expected to be particularly affected by the typhoon and accounts for 40 percent of the nation's total solar power capacity. This comes as demand for electricity is extremely high as Seoul is expecting its first ever month-long consecutive streak of tropical nights as of Tuesday. According to the KMA, Seoul has seen 30 straight days of tropical nights starting July 21st. While the rain is expected to temporarily lower temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday, they will go up again on Friday, with heat waves and tropical nights persisting until the end of the month. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.